The day we're taking a look at the MLB matches, which are happening on Monday, August 30th, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Atlanta Braves vs Los Angeles Dodgers While the pitching has been great this season, the offense is one of the best in the game, scoring 5.14 runs per game. Max Muncy has 28 home runs, a .391 on-base percentage, and a .539 slugging percentage, while Will Smith and Justin Turner have combined for 42 home runs this season, but the back half of the batting order has helped make the lineup one of the best in the game. Mookie Betts and Chris Taylor have combined for 36 home runs and 387 total bases, while A.J. Pollock and Albert Pujols have combined for 26 home runs, making the Dodgers lineup one of the toughest for any pitching staff to limit. Smiley hasn't been dominant by any stretch of the imagination in 2021, but he's managed to pitch well, despite having some issues with the long ball. He struck out a healthy 8.43 batters and walked only 3.08 batters per nine innings of work this season. However, he's also given up 1.86 home runs per nine innings of work, the second highest mark of his career. My betting advice for that game is to pick over. New York Yankees vs Los Angeles Angels. Jose Quintana has been struggling this season, according to his baseball saving page, as he is in the 10th percentile in barrel percentage, 19th percentile in Zara, 21st percentile in average exit velocity, and 27th percentile in hard hit percentage. His 90.2 MPH exit velocity is the second highest of his career. Quintana has a four-pitch arsenal, fastball, curveball, sinker, changeup, and his curveball has a .327 batting average and a .545 slugging percentage. He faced the Yankees once this season out of the bullpen as he went 1.1 scoreless innings and allowed two hits with no walks and a strikeout. Corey Kluber is expected to come off the Illinois and make his 11th start of the season for the Yankees in this contest. He comes in 4-3 with a 3.04 ERA, a 1.20 whip, 23 walks and 55 strikeouts over 53.1 innings of work this season. Kluber took the loss in his last start, which came at home back on May 25 against the Blue Jays. He threw three innings, allowing two runs on two hits with three walks and five strikeouts, in a 6-2 Yankees defeat. On the road this season, Kluber is 3-1 with a 3.54 ERA, a 1.179 whip, 9 walks and 27 strikeouts over 28 innings in 5 starts. Kluber makes his 8th career start against the Angels in this contest. He comes in 3-2 with a 3.23 ERA, a 1.035 whip, 13 walks and 39 strikeouts over 47.1 innings of work against them. Kluber is 1-2 with a 4.10 ERA a 1.177 whip, 7 walks and 23 strikeouts, over 26.1 innings in four career starts at Angel Stadium. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. San Diego Padres vs Arizona Diamondbacks. Watch for Fernando Tatis Jr. who has feasted on the Diamondbacks pitching, registering a .400 average with 5 homers and a 1.4 ops. The 22-year-old star is only hitting .200 on the month and enters with 78 RBIs, accompanied by a .994 ops on the season. Will Myers is back in action after a brief absence. San Diego has been one of the more consistent offensive teams in the majors, which was anticipated coming into the season with their stacked lineup. They rank top 10 in almost every single category, including batting average, runs, on-base percentage, slugging, and home runs. Second-year shortstop Fernando Tatis is back in the lineup and continuing his fiery pace. They will be dangerous in October. San Diego is scoring an average of 4.61 runs per game, ranking them 12th in the big leagues. The pitching staff enters with a 3.50 team ERA, good for 8th overall. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. 
Quick reminder, you can get 125% cashback bonus on your first deposit on our partner Sportsbook Bet US after you open an account using our link down below and use our promo code HIGHSTAKES when making your deposit. Milwaukee Brewers vs San Francisco Giants San Francisco has been very good on offense this season. They are top 10 in the league in runs, hits, home runs, RBIs, batting average, OBP, SLG, and ops. The Giants traded for Chris Bryant at the trade deadline to further bolster their lineup. The Brewers could certainly use some good news after dropping their previous road series in an interleague battle with the Minnesota Twins. At the very least, Burns gives the team a dominant defensive option to keep the heavy bats from the Giants in check. All it takes is one home run for the dominoes to start to fall. This Giants offensive lineup could turn a mound into a nightmare at the snap of a finger. Johnny Cueto came back from a stint on the injured list in his last start and did not finish five innings. In his last start, he went 4.2 innings and gave up five hits, three walks, zero earned runs, and struck out two in a no decision against the New York Mets. Cueto has a record of 7-6 with a 3.73 ERA, 1.30 whip, and a 94-27 KBB ratio in 20 starts this season. Opposing batters are hitting .275 against Cueto. Burns is throwing a 2.30 ERA and 0.95 whip on top of an 8-4 record. So he has been completely solid as a leading arm. The Giants are holding off the Dodgers for the division lead. They are currently first in the NL West and are poised for a playoff run. Being top 5 in most pitching categories and top 10 in most offensive categories, the Giants are a serious threat in the playoffs. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. Houston Astros vs Seattle Mariners. Luis Garcia takes the ball for his 25th appearance and 23rd start of the season for the Astros in this contest. He comes in 10-6 with a 3.21 ERA, a 1.095 whip, 37 walks and 144 strikeouts over 123.1 innings of work this season. Chris Flaxen gets the start for the Mariners on Monday. Flaxen, a right-hander, is 11-5 on the season with a 3.54 ERA and 24 starts. In his last outing, Flaxen pitched well in a 5-1 win over the Az. Flaxen gave up only one run on six hits in 6.2 innings with five strikeouts and one walk. The Mariners rank 16th in the majors in Team ERA and 14th in Team Whip. Offensively, they are 22nd in runs scored, 13th in home runs, and 30th in team batting average. Garcia earned the win in his last start, which came Tuesday at home against the Royals. He threw 6.2 scoreless innings, allowing four hits with one walk and seven strikeouts in a 4-0 Astros win. On the road this season, Garcia is 4-3 with a 4.97 ERA, a 1.362 whip, 22 walks and 63 strikeouts over 54.1 innings in 11 starts. Garcia makes his third career start against the Mariners in this contest. He comes in 0-1 with a 5.59 ERA, a 1.034 whip, 1 walk and 15 strikeouts over 9.2 innings of work. In his lone career start at T-Mobile Park, which came July 26, he didn't factor in the decision. Garcia threw 4.2 innings, allowing 6 runs, 5 earned, on 6 hits with 1 walk, and 9 strikeouts in an eventual 11-8 Houston defeat. My betting advice for that game is to pick under. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.